Hey everyone, it's Les. It's Wendy. <laughs> and it's Jack. And somewhere around here we have another one. This is our foster dog, Domino. Domino! Hi sweetie! She's a beauty. <laughs> so, uh, thanks to Pablo and a few others who pointed out that our sound sucks. <laughs> uh, we uh, have invested in a microphone that has a a wind cover, so uh, thanks Pablo. And we're testing it out. This is a, kind of a, an experiment as much as anything else. So we're on the shoreline trail, uh, Fundy Heights area, St. John, and we're heading to a beach that we haven't shown you before called Duck Cove. We've mentioned Duck Cove in other videos but uh, we haven't actually been all the way down there. So I'm just gonna pan around here. This is uh, another early spring day. Sucks to be here. <laughs> to uh, RPS, who's commented to a few of our viewers and to me, I disagree with pretty much everything you've said 100%, but everyone is entitled to their opinion. So. Where I panned around here, going back that way is where the trail would go all the way to Bayshore Beach, which is our beach that we normally go to. But we're taking a different direction today. And that's the bay out there. Looking just as charming as ever. And the shoreline trail, there's beautiful Wendy. So these houses here are in the Duck Cove area. So, uh, I know we have some viewers that love the sound of Duck Cove. They don't re very often come up for sale because people don't have much of a reason to unload a house with a beautiful ocean view. But if they do, they go quick. And there is, so we're up on a cliff here. And just going to look down. And that's... Bit of a rocky beach down there. There's a few rocky beaches. We come to uh, Bayshore because there's more, well, it's pebbly in somewhere, but mostly like a, a finer or a rougher sand, but not quite as rocky as this. But this is an awesome beach as well, especially for privacy because very few people come here. So just continuing along, if you're looking it up, this is called the Shoreline Trail. And it runs for quite a ways from uh, past Bayshore Beach all the way, I think, to McLaren's Beach, which is closer to the end there. And there are, as you can see, homes along here. It would be a beautiful place to live. Sorry if my voice is shaking, I'm stumbling on rocks that are on the path because I'm looking at the camera and not where I should be. But it's a really nice path. It's not grown through yet for the uh, summer season. But even in the summer, there's open parts here. There's some sitting areas up ahead. Look at that house up there, right overlooking the bay. Pretty good. Yeah, so there's some uh, benches and stuff along here in the summer. And the interesting part about the Duck Cove Beach is because uh, I just showed you it was on a cliff. There's a, an old steel or metal of some sort stairway to go down there. And I tried to count it once. I think it was a, just over a hundred stairs. And I think it was put in several years ago because it's not in the best of shape, but because they made it out of steel, it's still very sturdy. Now I think if you go around that bend to land there, I think that's where you would get to uh, the Irving Nature Park. I think. Some local will correct me, I'm sure, if I'm wrong. Along here you had the Bayshore Beach, which is our beach behind us. Nice home there. You have Duck Cove, 
which is the one we're going to, and you have McLaren's Beach. And then I think around that cove there, around that piece of land, peninsula sticking out, I think that's where Irving Nature Park is. So here, if this house ever came for sale, or that one, you would certainly have a nice view. So, Wendy's not saying much because she's got both dogs here right now. It's a beautiful spring day, April, I don't something. know, April something. <laughs> the 21st, I think? Yeah, I think so, because I think yesterday was National Stoner Day. So, so it's April 21st and it is a beautiful, balmy 14 degrees. And again, look at this house here. I don't even know if you could classify that as oceanfront or not. Probably would. That's a pretty nice view. But yeah, pretty nice view as Wendy said, if you could hear her. So it's a little breezy. It's not that breezy right now. Hoping this wind muffler thing works. But I can't be held responsible if it doesn't. Part of the reason we're walking today, other than uh, then it's a beautiful day to go for a walk, is uh, the car that we drive that you all point out at one time or another is very loud. It's going to be getting fixed soon. Figured out what was wrong with it. So thank you for all of your comments and advice. So we won't probably be doing a driving video at least for another week. Unfortunately, we couldn't turn it into a Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So here's some more homes. I know that there's some of you would probably like to knock on their door and force them to sell, but uh, some of these, this one ahead of us. Yeah. The one that's straight ahead of us was, we pointed that out in another video. It had been for sale a few months ago, not quite a year. And just for context sake, I think they were asking and sold it for somewhere around $300,000. It was very nice. And it has a view, something like this. Pretty expansive view. And yet, with all these homes, you are right in the city. There's uh, some places that are more out of town where you can find some good oceanfront property reasonably priced still. I don't know how much of it's for sale, but if you look in places like uh, Polka Logan, uh, and then on the way into St. Andrews, they're quite rural, but uh, New River Beach, which is one of the very popular tourist uh, tourist beaches here, is in or around Pokalogan, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing Pokalogan properly. I seem to mispronounce everything, so forgive me. So there's the house that went for around three hundred thousand. Not a bad place. It's very nice inside too. So we're just walking the trail. Who knows if this is interesting. But uh, our in-laws to buy that house. We bugged our in-laws to buy that house uh, last year. It is up for sale. Beautiful ocean views from every single window. Just gorgeous. Look at those swings. How cute is that? We're discussing with one of our viewers about uh, how the riverfront properties here, or properties along the river, are more valuable than the ocean properties. And I get that for some people because we're in the fog belt here. Hello. I've only seen a couple of days of it, but this is where our heart lies, right on the Atlantic Ocean. 
All right, so this is the stairway. Hold on. Yeah. All metal stairs. And that's going to take us all the way down to that beach there, Duck Cove. So come along for the ride. Try not to get dizzy. So like I say, these look a little rusty, but they're in good shape. A couple of old farts like us can do these no problem, then I'm sure all you healthy people would have no problems. I'm doing this without my glasses on so that I can see the camera. It's very nice. It's an awesome way to get down to a very private beach. Let's just pan along again. Our little dog has decided to go the easy way, the easy way not take the stairs. Talked about 123 stairs going down to Reversing Falls in a recent video. I'm going to count the stairs here on the way back up and uh, maybe reference that in this video. Gorgeous! Another beach in walking distance to our place. We love this area. This is one out of four along this stretch. There's uh, Bayshore. This is uh, uh, Ducks Cove. There's McLaren's around the corner here. And then there's St. Russ. That's at uh, Irving Nature Park. And we just love being on the ocean. I mean, New Brunswick in general is just gorgeous everywhere you go. But we prefer to be by the ocean, so our videos will always reflect that. But there's lots of beautiful areas throughout the province, so and we're going to hope to show you some over the next little while um, because New Brunswick is really a beautiful place to live and everybody's very friendly and uh, it doesn't matter where you settle it's a great place to raise a family but uh, we definitely love our beaches that's for sure there are good river beaches too but we have just always I mean the reason we moved out here was to be near the ocean and we're going to do a video talking about why we moved here well, soon enough. Okay. And, uh, but yeah, I mean, where we come from in BC, I mean, anyone can go to the beaches, but the beaches tend to be crowded. And you, you have to have a lot of money to live near the beach, whether that's in Vancouver or any of the surrounding areas like White Rock or Tawasson here. Here, any, uh, anybody can live near the beach. When he's telling me to pan back up the stairs, so let's take a look. So that's them. Small price to pay for a completely secluded beach. But you can take your time. Yeah, for sure. They're very safe. Now you do get some rocks on this beach. The tide is a little bit out today. But you also get some nice sandy areas as well. And the, the, what's on the beach, whether it be rocks or sand or logs, it all varies depending on the uh, what kind of storms have been in the area. We've been here where it was all rocks. We've been here where it was like all kinds of logs. But right now, I mean, look how private this is. It's not a place you're going to come and, you know, play beach volleyball. But if you like some alone time, some privacy, to have a beach all to yourself where you can just walk here. Pretty darn nice. So I guess we'll end the video here. Just wanted to show you a bit of the shoreline trail because we take it all the time and it's very accessible for people. And show you a beach that we haven't seen with you yet, which is Duck Cove Beach. And the stairs that bring you down to it. Nice sand, big cliffs, and the absolutely stunning Bay of Fundy. 
All right, so we'll see you on the next video and... Bye! We love St. John! Thanks, guys.